welcome aboard uh, NOAA 42. I thought we'd start in the back of the aircraft. And the back of Kermit. In. Yeah, the back of Kermit and walk you forward. So uh, a typical mission into a hurricane can be anywhere from nine to 11 hours long. And because of the length of time we're in the storm environment, uh, we, we carry three pilots on board, two in the cockpit at any given time. The uh, off-duty pilot is, uh, has the option to come back here and, and catch a nap and freshen up to the extent he can as we're bouncing around through a hurricane. But the idea is to keep uh, our pilots fresh, mm -hmm. uh, ultimately stay safe in, in, the, uh, in the storm environment. So we have an area back here where they can rest, uh, we also uh, have an opportunity to, uh, you know, the comforts of home. We have a microwave back here. A coffee pot is critical. I was going to say, how important is hey, that? This is, uh, it is critical because <laughs> uh, we'll fly day and night. And I, so I, having, I feel like this is more bolted down. I've seen it come out. Have you? Yeah, twice. Oh my I've gosh. Seen it when it came out in uh, Patricia and uh, another storm in, in uh, the Pacific. But uh, yeah, it will actually come out. It makes a bit of a mess. And then there's a place to eat. People can strap down here as well uh, during the mission and uh, to the extent they can as they're bouncing around, still right. manage to uh, take a, a short break. Uh, there's a restroom on board as this well. This is the restroom? Yeah, that is the restroom. Can we take a look at it? Certainly, yeah. You can go in there. It's nothing fancy, but... It's... I mean, basically what you get on a commercial airline. It is, yes. Yep. Got to have one for a long mission. That's right. I, I like the uh, the hula dancer. Yeah. In there. <laughs> <laughs> the next station I'd like to talk about is uh, the station where we release the drop wind songs. This is an operational one, so this is one we would release in the storm environment. Uh, here's a, a, a dummy version of one, but essentially at key points uh, throughout the storm, mm -hmm. uh, we will release these. Typical points are. Uh, are the end points of our, our legs. So mm -hmm. when we start a, a leg inbound, we'll drop one of these in the eye wall. And then uh, obviously in the center, when we do a center drop. And uh, when these descend down, a parachute uh, pops out. It uh, descends to the surface of the ocean, transmitting back to the aircraft, to these computers, temperature, uh, humidity, wind speed, direction, and pressure. Four times a second, we can have eight of these in the air at any given time. Wow. So Mike, explain to me, how do we, how do you drop this from the plane? So Grant, uh, as we enter the storm environment, we have uh, predetermined points where we'll release these. In right. advance of reaching one of those points, the operator uh, back here will initialize the sonde with our, our aircraft data, and then uh, we'll place it inside of the tube, and then simply wait for the instructions to release it. It will release and descend uh, down to the surface of the ocean after the parachute releases. Right. Uh, again, about uh, three to four minutes for it to des descend to the ocean. Moving forward, on any given mission into a hurricane, we'll have at least three uh, scientific teams on board. This is where we position those teams. All of these computers have access to all of the data on the plane, so they can, if their research interest is uh, the TDR, they can look exclusively at that. If their research interests are the drop zones, they can focus on that. Okay, this is the flight director station. The flight director really has two key roles. One is uh, the flight director serves as the principal advisor to the aircraft commander on all issues related to the safety of flight related to weather. So we'll be evaluating uh, the various tools at our disposal, mainly the lower fuselage radar and the nose radar, to make sure we're safe mm -hmm. uh, moving forward. Once we're convinced we're safe, then we cascade into our second role, which is to manage the science collection. So we serve as a liaison, if you will, between the science scientists on board the aircraft and the crew. So we convert science speak, mm -hmm. science uh, objectives and, and tasks into directions to the crew uh, in where the aircraft needs to be, the altitude it needs to be at, the attitude it needs to be in, straight level, for example, or if we're gonna be in a bank, all these kinds of details are converted into instructions uh, to the flight crew. Those are the two primary roles of the flight crew. Okay. On the right side here, we've got the navigator station. They have a number of uh, roles, primarily in, in hurricanes. Uh, they serve as a, a point of contact for uh, the air traffic control community right. uh, to know where we're at in the storm environment. 
So really, I mean, you're, from, from the seat here, from the flight director's seat, you have a lot of points of contact throughout the flight. You're right. The, the flight director is uh, the connection hub between the operational crew and the science. And we are constantly trying to uh, merge and communicate different details to make sure everybody, the two different uh, entities, are on the same page. Right. It's an important role. Uh, it's, it's busy. It's real busy. Yeah. All right, Grant, this is uh, the cockpit. For any given uh, hurricane mission, we have three pilots on board and two in the seat at any given time. Two flight engineers, one in the seat at any given time. Flying into a hurricane, uh, we're trying to go through the center. Inbound, you can imagine uh, the cyclonic winds will be off our left wing, and uh, this creates a complicated uh, flight environment for the pilots. I, I, I guess we'll defer to them to describe how complicated it is. I just know it's really challenging right. yeah, sure. for them because we're essentially crabbing the whole way in mm -hmm. because we're not, we're not flying directly into the wind. We're trying to fly a track to the center and crabbing against the wind the whole time. Uh, exceptionally qualified uh, pilots. As the flight director, we're always trying to find ways to effectively communicate uh, information quickly and concisely. One way to do that is to use graphics. And so uh, the uh, pilots and the flight director uh, for uh, this aircraft and uh, the other aircraft can share a video display. This allows us to uh, quickly uh, get on the same page in terms of understanding what the next objective is, what threats are, uh, out in front of us and how we're going to mitigate those threats. Because safety is important, but or I should say the, the information that you're getting is important, but safety is the most important thing. Yeah, and the, that's exactly right. This is why we hire the best pilots. It's a really complicated uh, flight environment and uh, dangerous weather if yeah. you're careless. Dangerous weather.